Hello, this is Neil from Flame Farm Studios. There's a lag again. I know, it's annoying. But otherwise, it'll be very dark in this room. And plus, contrast just gets rid of all the colors. So, basically, I have to leave it like this. And welcome to Nostalgic Opinions again. If I must add something new. Maybe fresh and drink. Probably might be different. Might as well be orange gloss you can be able to see that's proof of uh, my happening addiction to it and I'm not afraid to admit it for fuck's sake I sp why did I have to spell on <laughs> let's go on to forget that thing happened First, we had the top of our list of uh, games we have, and before I move on, this is about all my modern Sega games. I'm unfortunately I'm not able to so crazy taxi for the PlayStation 2. However, I do have another place crazy taxi game for the PSP that also has. Uh, crazy uh, Taxi, as well as Crazy Taxi 2. So, so if you want to see that, sorry, but I can't need it. So, first we have... This is a game that I would probably hate. Fuck, like, it is fucked up. It's, as you can see, it's purple, which means it's on the connect. And... The description is kind of weird as well. It offers you some advice you shouldn't do with your connect. I'm not mean like you could pour water over it to heal yourself. I mean like this this is possibly the most weirdest one. Play in the dark if you dare when actually you'd have to play in a well lit room. That is from the connect uh, instruction manual. So basically, yeah, this kind of misinforming and misinformative and plus is laggy as fuck. And then the next one I actually had to talk about, Iron Man 2, the video game. And this is based off the movie Iron Man, Iron Man 2. And let me s it is an alright game, but I'm not that much a big Marvel fan. Do it. and plus this is basically on playboards has one of the most hardest uh, beginning levels you could ever go for and plus it's not recommended for beginners as you would have to have very very good experience uh, with playing your 360 and you have to be a pro or even better than that next this uh, we're well, going on to the PSP games it's, there's only one. Actually, to be honest, there was also out one, but yeah, there's not many things to say about it because out one, it's out one two. I have, oh, I think 2006. I'm not really sure. It's it's basically like the arcade, except it's more of a uh, more like 3D and less pixely. And I didn't really like it. Like, it's... I don't like... I didn't like it back then. And I... St and it was one of my worst entries to a series you could call iconic. You could say it is perfect in every way. Or I'm every way. But it will never uh, get me over to think there's a pretty good game. And plus, I can't be able to save in it. Because, like... Even led me to, be, to do one of the biggest mistakes of my life, which is, which is delete everything you have on your memory stick do. Like I said, I didn't have enough space. Did that, took, deleted everything. In fact, not exactly everything, but I even deleted the save files for the games I've already completed. And it still said that. Like, when would... When would you, uh, like, I know some of you would not really do such a thing and probably give it away, but 
I was stupid back then. Not like the, me like now. I ended up just spelling it some just on my. Uh, I'm not going to say about it. Plus, I'm not going to say it landed on my penis. And plus, we don't really talk that much about penises or. Well, people who are kind of deciding to take their shirt off, we're not really going into that. And if you thought I was, you are kind of messed up. And now let's talk about Crazy Taxi. If you don't know what the series is, it's, it's basically where you drive around like crazy, doing stuff you heard not do in real life, getting people to the 